LC, you can put 1.5 speed. <laughs> it will be very fast. <clears throat> so I computed, uh, I put in a Q in VLC, I computed the hours. It's like 90, 80 hours. So it's like going to work eight hours a day for about 10 days. You can finish Genesis to Revelation. Of course, you cannot remember everything. But the, the Bible says the Holy Spirit will remind you of things. Oh, diba? you can't remember your quiz, your answer to the quiz, to the exam. But when the exam is finished, you remember. <laughs> diba? It is there. Everything that comes to our senses is saved. The problem is how to retrieve. Because after the exam, you remember it. When you are relaxing, oh, I remember the answer. Diba? It's there, it's there. It's just hard. Sometimes we wonder how can we extract what we, I know, what we saw. <clears throat> According to some psychologists, everything that comes to the senses is saved somewhere there. Oh, diba? So just listen. <clears throat> yeah, and the Bible is very powerful. Everybody is afraid of the Bible. So when the president is new, they put their hand in the Bible, they said like this, right? Diba? <clears throat> How about this one? Is it in the Bible? The word is not there, but the idea is there. Because in Genesis, let us create men. Us is plural, yeah? And then it says in Matthew 18, it says, Go ye therefore baptize all nations in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. But the Bible also says there is one God. How can you understand mathematics when it says three person, but one God? You know what is the explanation? God doesn't fit in math. <laughs> you can get the old Hatagalog dictionary, English dictionary, Greek Hebrew dictionary, Aramaic dictionary. God cannot fit in the dictionary. God cannot fit in logic. God cannot fit in mathematics because God is bigger than our brain. Therefore, whatever the Bible says about God, then that is true, whether or not we can understand. Because, you know what, do you know your computer is um, probably 64 bit? <clears throat> you bias bits. If you have four bits, how much can you count? Zero to 15. You understand? Diba, diba, diba. If you have four bits, how many can you count? Zero to 15 only, Tamba. eight. If you have one bit, you can count zero and one. If you have two bit, you can count zero to three, diba four. Now you are wondering if it's true. If you have three bits, you can count zero to to eight. Ah, no, to seven. Diba one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. 1 to 8, 2, 5, 6, 5, 1, 2, etc. <clears throat> a 4-bit computer can only count 0 to 16, or to 15. It cannot understand the number 20, <laughs> because it's only 4-bit. If you ask it 10 plus 10, it doesn't know the answer. Error, because it's only 4-bit. We are like that. This is our mind. But God is big than our mind. We cannot understand God. Because we are finite, God is infinite. Like we have, there's a 64-bit computer, and God has so many bits that doesn't fit. So <clears throat> in the computer, there's also what you call addressable space. Class, if I have uh, 10 houses, how many digits do I need? to number all of those houses in the decimal. If I have 10 houses, how many digits? I start with zero. I'm a programmer. So if I have 10 houses, I need only one digit, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I need one digit only, right? But if I have 15 houses, just pretend I am rich guy. If I have 15 houses, I'm, I cannot use only one digit. I need two. Or I can put 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, since I'm a programmer, A, B, C, D. <laughs> yes. But if I only use this, uh, digits, I need two, diva. Right? After you get to nine, then you start with 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, and That is called address. The more houses you have, the longer your address, diva. Right? 
So a 4-bit computer can only address 15 bytes of memory, right? Do you know why the 32-bit computer can only address 4 gigabytes of RAM? Because of address space. There are more than 4 billion addresses. So the 32-bit cannot address more than 4 gigabytes. Of course, 64 bit we don't have that problem because the other, it can address more, right? So there is address space. We humans, we have limited address space. We cannot keep everything in our mind. And God is very big. That's why it doesn't mean that if we don't understand God, that God is not there. You know what? I will tell you a story. Last, the, last week, 